Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news, my friends! There's a new repeat, I repeat, Kachu, I repeat that there is a brand new Overwatch hero! Oh my god! Oh my god, he fell! Oh my god, come here! He's so can't handle the hype! Guys! There's a new hero! And you know what that means? That means that I have a new born child! And his name? Oh god, this is how hyped I am. I can't stop. Okay, you go back over here. Go. No! He, he died. Stay. Maybe you go here. Okay. Hopefully he stays. Yeah, uh, I, I'm really bad at pronouncing some of the Overwatch characters' names, as you've seen in a few of my other reactions to some of the shorts. And uh, this guy's name is Baptiste. Baptiste? But Baptiste. Yeah. Uh, Baptiste? Baptist? Ba ba Baptiste? Ba I don't know. But we're about to find out. And I'm screaming. <sighs> Level down, man. Level down, my girl. It's going to be cool. It's all cool. If you guys, again, are new, hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat, and yeah, uh, we do a lot of crazy, fun things here. But thank you for letting me know on Twitter that there's a brand new hero. Let's go, my friends. Let's get really out of Yes. Baptiste, Baptiste, Baptistus, I love you. Look at the design. <laughs> Bean on our screen, my friends. As you know, I call children chicken nuggets and beans. And this is a literal bean. Look at his hair. I love you. Why is he crying? Oh no, here we go. Let's, let's just say. Choices? Ooh, I like what do you know about Whoa. choices? 30 million orphaned children. No! I was one of Don't them. Don't do that to me. The Omnic Wall robbed us of no. our choices. Oh my god. To survive, you did what you had to do. Steal or starve, kill oh my God. or be killed. Stop! You helped your friends and hurt anyone who got it. This is an emotional pain. one. If you hunger to rise above your circumstances, then when someone offered you a hand up, even the devil, you took it. It wasn't complicated. Oh man! Oh At my least God! That was the lie I told myself. The truth is, I had choices. And I made them. But when you think you're a big man, it's hard to admit that you are not a brave one. Uh. Even harder when you understand that making a living is not enough. <laughs> you oh. must make a difference. I'm going to fight for a better world. <laughs> for some, that means a bandage. For others, a bullet. Today, Why am I crying? <laughs> I give you the choice. <laughs> okay, so why did they get me in tears? I did not expect to go into this. This is why I go into everything completely blind. I did not expect to go into this, being able to get emotional over this. Oh man. A few things. One, he mentioned orphans. Don't do that to me. Two, he mentioned how it's like you have to make choices and when you think you're a big man, it's like, oh my god. And it's like, doing stuff for a living, it's not enough because you want to make a difference in life. And you know what? That is so true. And this is going to be my talk with you guys, to any of you guys who are YouTubers out there, and you want to start your own channel. You know what? It's so easy to do something just to get numbers. It's so easy just to do something if you want to just ride the hype train. You know? And so many people just do that, and they don't even care about what games they're playing or what content they are making. But the thing is, is that everything that you do, you should put your heart into, you know? Like, put your heart into it. Never, never feel like, you know, it's just because someone else is not doing something or everyone is doing something else. If you don't feel passionate about something, don't do it. And that, that was that, his speech there was saying, you know, you gotta make a difference. You know, it's not just a job that what they're doing as Overwatch heroes, no. It's they're making a difference in people's lives. They're being the hero that they can be. They're trying to save people. They're trying to make a difference and a change and to move forward and show people that it doesn't just take a man to do it. It takes a brave man to do it. It takes somebody with courage and it takes somebody who would just be able to make sacrifices in order to get where they are to stand for what they believe in. And this, my friends, this is pure fact right there. He stands for that. 
If you want to make a difference, yeah, you're going to have to sacrifice some things. But there's the other thing that he's talking about is just that, you know, to be a hero, don't just do it to be a hero. Be a hero to make a difference. Not just for the fame, not just for the money, not just for that. Be a hero to make a difference in somebody's life. Did not expect to go in to be crying over this. This is my brand new child. I was pretty much hyped. Second I saw this when you guys tweeted it out to me saying, Cat, oh my god, this new Overwatch short. I was like, I gotta react to this. Why? Because these are my children and I need to support it. Also, I finally caught up to the Overwatch shorts, so I'm able to do this with you guys and join you on this freaking hype to realize that these people, these, these creators, Blizzard Entertainment does so much to be able to tell us so important messages. That's right, my friends. But other than that, he seems like an awesome character. Cannot wait to see like what his gameplay has in store because I will be doing a ton of fun things in the future for gameplay when it has to do with Overwatch. If you guys did see our first episode of the Goodnight Geek Show, which is the name of our talk show that we have every month, and will be the name of the tour when I start going on tour, there was a segment called The Three Amigos, and that is a brand new show that we are working on with three awesome friends, Derek, John, and Cage. They're gonna be three hosts. Derek is our editor, he's gonna be the one of the hosts of this and I'm gonna be joining them for some awesome gameplay and one of the games is definitely gonna be Overwatch. I'm probably gonna die a lot. I don't know who I'm gonna be but he seems like a freaking awesome character. I'm so, like, look at that design. Look at his design for what he stands for. That speech that he gave. That speech. It, it like really resonates with a lot of people out there. And you notice a lot of the Overwatch characters are very humble, but also what you realize is that they do have flaws, but then they learn to live with those flaws. And also they learn to teach us great lessons through the flaws that they go through and through the sacrifices they had made, or even if they, they admit they, they sometimes make mistakes too, I've noticed. Like a lot of the Overwatch characters, especially, you know, if they're, if they're not Sombra, if they're Sombra, then it's like, you know, she's the anti-hero, she's, she's not gonna admit that. But with even her, she has a very like, rich backstory so I can't wait to learn more about him I want to see him in game I want to see other characters too in game because there's a lot of like voices like you guys said that there's a lot of like story within the game itself so I can't wait to get into that all right guys so now it's time to react to some of the gameplay footage that was released from overwatch with the character that again I cannot say his name again I apologize I, I don't know what it is about the overwatch characters names I just cannot say most of them I mean, I could say Tracer and Reaper and Sombra, but there's a lot of them that I cannot pronounce. So maybe, maybe what I'm gonna do, as you see, there's a chalkboard here. I would love to do like a crash course of me trying to pronounce everybody's name and that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be actually really fun for a live stream. More on that later. But anyway, guys, let's get into reacting to some of the awesome gameplay footage that was released. And this is why I wanna get into the game more. I wanna learn more about how to play the game. I wanna learn more about each of the characters. Learn about the skins and like the extra things that go on within this game because it's a lot of fun. I wanna really get into more multiplayer games, especially games like Overwatch. So this is a great learning experience for me. But anyway, guys, let's get reacted to see what he has in store. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands. I have ADHD, let's go. This music, yeah. Bionic launcher, okay. Ooh. Oh man. Oh, okay, he could heal everybody. That's cool. That's cool. That'd be easier if you just like aim. Regenerative burst. I mean, cool. I'd want him on my team. Legit want him on my team. Immortality field? Can this can this guy do everything? Oh, there's Winston right there. <laughs> it's like, how you doing? How you doing? Yes, that'd be that'd be pretty tough. Exo boots. You know, if people like, whoa, guys, come on, like, amplification matrix. Um, this guy can do everything. I think this guy is. Oh my god, ultimate ability. That's cool. You know, here's the thing. What I've heard from my editor Derek and also some of my other, you know, friends. Okay, I've heard that some people. Some people that play Overwatch, okay, get so toxic about it because they want to compete so badly, but then they make you feel like you're a piece of crap when you're just trying to have fun. See, with me, I have not played Overwatch once yet. And I really want to get into playing it and making some funny gameplay videos here on the channel all about Overwatch. You know, do random funny things. So when I hear about the toxicness that goes on in the fandom within the gameplay, it kind of makes me upset because people who are new like me who want to really get into this type of game, and when you hear about the toxicness of like, you know, you're a newbie and you, you're like failing a lot and then all the other team members are like, cur like cursing at you and putting you down and everything, it's really 
toxic. So what I want to start doing here on this channel is definitely start spreading more positivity that Overwatch does have to offer. And whether that's by doing a lot of gameplay videos for it, like little funny highlights from like streams or whatever, I want to be able to spread that positivity because there's so much toxicness from what I hear from people and that's why a lot of people just say like, you know, I'm going to do something else or I don't want to play this game or they, they even say to me like, you shouldn't get into the game because it's very toxic. But I do plan again on doing some Overwatch gameplays with the Three Amigos, which is a show you could you guys could expect here on the channel um, for intermissions and everything for the Goodnight Geek show. Other than that, I am just like really happy that they are adding brand new characters and especially characters that a lot of more people can relate to like his story was very powerful very rich with lore and it makes me want to know more about him you know I don't want to just sit here and be like okay who are you what do you have to offer this world no I want to know more about him like overall I want to see who he is I want to know who he is I don't want to just be like okay what's your story but no I want to know I want to sit him down like you know bring a character in a coffee shop I want to sit him down give him some coffee and say hey what do you, what story do you have to tell you're falling my man you're falling but anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. And he looks like a really, like, powerful character. I mean, I love how he's able to, like, shoot, but he heals his teammates. So that would be, like, a really great ability that somebody can really manipulate on other teams. But if he's on your team, kudos to you. But I'm just hoping that they release more, like, short stories, mini comics about him. I still have to read a lot of the uh, Overwatch comics here on the channel. And also do, like, short story reactions and whatnot. But other than that, I'm enjoying this. I love Overwatch so much. I can't wait to get more merch of Overwatch, obviously. But also, I cannot wait to just experience this um, this whole journey with you guys. Go in game, see what it's all about, and I'm almost dropping you, that's not good. Um, and just go from there because the stories about this game is, again, it's not just a game. It's something that helps people through a lot of things and troubles in their life. So, you know, this game has saved lives and I will continue. To, it will continue to save lives and Blizzard Entertainment, like kudos to you guys. God bless you guys for what you've been able to do. Just like you've launched a lot of people's careers from voice actresses, voice actors from like fan artists comic book artists you guys have launched a lot of people's careers so like god bless you for that and for giving people opportunities like me to be able to react to your content and give commentary on it because you know honest commentary is what's the best type of commentary out there because a lot of people tend to lie about a lot of things but I'm always I always be sure to like be very honest as possible so if I don't like a character I will obviously say it or if I don't like something about someone I will say it and but him overall I really did enjoy his backstory I did not expect it because I expected it to be like really like like rich with just like hype and action but no this is more heartfelt and what, who am I kidding myself that's what overwatch is all about my friends that's what overwatch is all about just heartfelt content that makes you cry and want to hug everybody <coughs> but anyway guys you stay weird you stay wonderful and you stay awesome my friends and until the next video embrace your fan girl and your inner fan boy every single day Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. And now is just a special time to give a shout out to our awesome and amazing patrons that you see that is listed on the screen right now. Honestly, we would not be able to create anything if it were not for you guys. You guys believe in the vision. You guys believe in this journey. And you guys not only just believe in the channel, but you believe in me. God bless you all for believing in this vision. And I hope you have an amazing day. If you guys want to become patrons and join me on this journey, the link is in the description down below, or you can click it on the screen right over there. Also, if you really did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. You could also click there with the cute little icon that's there as well. And if you want to check out more episodes, there should be a little box that's popped up right about now. Click on that and enjoy the ride. But as always, guys, until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day. Bye, guys. <laughs>